Friday marks the annual spring game for the Montana Grizzlies. It's the first chance for fans of the team to see what the on-field product could look like next year. Montana was able to keep the majority of their playmakers, but will have a new signal caller along with some new big boys up front. The 2024 Montana Grizzlies hit the gridiron of Washington Grizzly Stadium. Eight new transfers to the team can now call the mecca of FCS football their new home. Head coach Bobby Houck says players new and old have impressed so far this spring. The majority of guys have made a leap forward. You know, that nothing's ever 100% football, but we've had a lot of progress. So it doesn't really matter <coughs> where a guy sits on the depth chart. Everybody's improved as a football player. On offense, the Grizz managed to keep their explosive playmakers, including postseason hero Junior Bergen, Aaron Fonts, and Keelan White. But the signal caller in charge of getting Montana's receivers the ball is up in the air. With Clinton McDowell out of the picture, attention now turns to last year's week one starter, Sam Vidlak, who shined with two touchdowns in last year's spring game but amounted five turnovers and four starts in last year's regular season the young buck of the group is soon to be sophomore quarterback Kaylee Ayat the son of legendary Montana quarterback Brian Ayat who touched down Ayat I mean I don't there wasn't even electricity in the stadium last time that was said so uh Good to see him spin it. He throws a nice pass. In 2023, Aya occasionally came in for relieving duties at quarterback. The freshman looked confident, throwing a touchdown against Northern Colorado and throwing over 100 yards against Portland State. Houck says he's coming along nicely this spring. Everybody's making progress, and I think he has too. Um, you know, I, I think he's had a... Kaylee's had a good spring. The Grizz also brought in Logan Fife, who transferred to Montana from Fresno State. Fife's best game last year came against Utah State, where he threw nearly 300 yards and a touchdown. Logan had good game film. Um, he's a competitive guy. That shows up. Um, a lot of people that had coached him, thought very highly of him. The other hole Montana needs to address in the offense comes in the offensive line. A.J. Forbes and Chris Walker are gone and currently waiting to see if their names are called in the NFL draft. Montana brought in Everett Johnson out of Cal. How knew he'd fit in when he wore shorts on his first day in Missoula in 25 degree weather. Another name Houck brought up is junior guard Liam Brown. The guy I'd point out is a fellow that's made a lot of progress this spring is Liam Brown. You know, he's just, he's just kind of made a jump up. It goes back to any time you have people on your team and improving, it, help, it helps your team. These new and old faces on the offense will scrimmage Friday for a first taste of 2024 Grizzly football. Look, so many people think April is the first month where we can start to get outside again. But that's crazy to me. We got Grizz and Cats football these next two weeks alongside the NBA and NHL playoffs. I promise the nice weather will be there in June. Until then, the couch and TV are calling my name. All right, that'll do it for now. Live in Studio Alex Hoffman, NBC Montana Sports.